Hello and welcome. So we have J River Media Center version 23 set up and installed on this machine. We have one set of media files which are located here. There's my sample media files and we have one media center database installed on this machine. This is the machine with a purple background. This will become relevant in a moment. Um, J River allows you to install multiple copies of Media Center on a reasonable number of machines to be used within your household. So you can set up a Media Center network at home and play your one copy of your media files using your one media center database and share those files and play them to other machines and other devices in your home. This is a media center server and client setup. So in this example the server which was the original install has a purple desktop and I've got another virtual machine which with a blue uh, desktop and that's going to be the client so this could be a uh, an Intel NUC that you that's in another room you could play to files on your laptop from your media center server that you leave on in your house somewhere so this is my media center server and this is going to be my media center client the first thing we need to do is to enable the server function on the server. So we'll start up Media Center version 23. We'll go to Tools, Options, Media Network, and the first option use Media Network to share this library and enable DLNA. I want to do that. Media Network allows you to access your media anywhere remotely control the program, enjoy DLNA devices and more. Any media, any time, any place. Click next. Your server will now be started. Um, I will see a message about firewall access because the media center needs to open some ports in the firewall to allow the machines to talk to each other. Um, this server will also generate an access key this is a simple uh, simple security measure just to um, make sure that um, the client is authorized to talk to the media server. It's not the most secure system in the world but it's adequate for these purposes. So let's click next. I've got a message about media center wanting to change some firewall rules. I want that to happen. I don't run Media Center as an administrator therefore I've got the user account control to allow these changes to be made. For some reason I need to do this twice. And then click Next. didn't like that for some reason. Try that again. Right. Possibly seems to work this time. I shall write down this key. I shall need it shortly. I will keep the existing settings at the moment. Click OK. I believe that should have worked. On my client machine, the one with the blue desktop, I need to install Media Center. the user
usual user account control settings. Accept, do an express install. File associations are fine. And I have a brand new version of J River Media Center 23. I don't want to import anything. Um, new install with no albums, no artists, and no files. What I can do is I've already copied over a backup from my server and I can restore the settings from my previous install just to save me going through changing the settings again so this is a backup of my server but the key thing is I only want to install or I only want to restore the settings I don't want to install the library and playlists. I only want to carry over the settings. Click OK. That just saves a small amount of time reconfiguring. And here you go. I've got my customized toolbar. I'll check the audio. I have no albums. I have no artists. So to link the two systems together. I go into the playing now. I right click and I want to add a library. I will call this um, demo JRiver and the access key that was, gen that was generated earlier I now type in Screen's flickered a couple of times. If I now go to audio, as if by magic, I have the albums that I imported into my server. I can find one of these. And I can play this track. So I've now got a file hosted on another machine playing on this machine. I have set up a media center network. If I go and look at this machine, you'll see it's just sat there. Nothing's playing here. If I go back to my client, you'll see the tracks are playing. I can stop this track play another track. And that's how you set up a media center network with J River. I hope you found the video useful and thank you for watching.